Yeah, you break the wheel. Fucking shit out. How are your knees there? Man, you crazy as hell. Man, you crazy as hell. Six three, six five, bro. You're gonna struggle, man. That's why mainly when you see people driving these S3s, bro, they're fucking midgets, bro. Sadiq, which one would you buy? Ford. Ford, are you crazy as hell? You're already saving 40 kg just by getting the three door. There's no point in getting a four door and be like, oh yeah, let me cut the whole thing. You fucking idiot. You should just bought the three door. You get 40 kg off for doing nothing. <laughs> Welcome back to the video. So today is just a should you buy S3 and from my point of view, yes. Sadiq, what do you think? Yeah. Do you like this car? It's very nice, yes. It's a good car. Right, so I'm just going to sh share some information maybe you won't know about this car. So this car, it runs 261 brake. See, the thing is with this car, it writes quattro. See, that's the, it writes quattro there. Quattro there, right, come here, see. It likes to put quattro everywhere. Right, it says quattro here. This car is not full quattro, okay? It runns off a Haldex, Haldex system, which means the car is front wheel drive, and then when the car feels like it needs to kick in the back wheels will kick in so this car mainly runs front wheel drive i know that it's traffic noise when i shoot that in my own dark or all right to me yeah, sir. yeah so bear that in mind that the right quattro everywhere this is full quattro what is full quattro is like the s4 s5 the bigger models s3 is like haldex system say with the golf r okay front wheels drive it and then when it feels like it's slipping out back wheels will kick in yeah yes sir. Another thing to be yeah. this car it does have one problem. Okay, see the thing is, if you're a tall person, you might struggle uh, like just being comfortable in this car because this car is designed for small. Oh my God, it's hot in here. Pull that open. There you go, bitch. Man, you crazy as hell. Right? Yeah. Bear that in mind, Sadiq. <coughs> Okay, because this seat does not go any more down, okay? And look at the headroom here, so that if I'm all the way up, I have to put my seat back and drive like this. I'm not comfy there. Obviously, I don't want to be all the way straight. I would like it about here, but I can't because it's just, my legs get in the way. I changed the steering wheel. The normal steering wheel is the one without dials that I had on it. Before I had a problem of, it used to hit my legs. I'll show you uh, a video I do a comparison of my Golf and this one. I'll put a picture of it here. I, you can see the difference in headroom. Sadiq, can you see the headroom here, Sadiq? Even when I'm here, like I'm six foot. I'm a big lad, right? Sadiq, jump in, lad. Do you want to jump in, Sadiq? Now, Sadiq, he's a big lad. He's about, are you six foot? You taller than me? No, you're not taller than me. Are you comfy, Sadiq? How are your knees there? Man, you crazy as hell. See, Sadiq's a big lad, right? Yeah, and he's... <laughs> Wait, who's tall as Sadiq? Right, we'll test it. Jump out here, Sadiq. Jump out here, mate. Who's taller out of us? Fucking hell. Hopefully it catches it. Maybe come here, Sadiq. Maybe it's zoomed in. Who's taller? Well, I fucking hell, there's no one to predict it. Take it out there, Put the fly out yeah, I think you're taller than me, dude. Mm -hmm. Send me the fucking... Uh, right here. Huh? Oh, man, you crazy, dude. Fucking shit out. Man, you crazy, dude. I think I'm taller than you, though. I get. Yeah, man. Right? So, bear that in mind that if you are a tall person like 6'3", six, 6'5", six, bro, you're gonna struggle, man. That's why mainly when you see people driving these S3s, bro, they're fucking midgets, bro. They're just midgets. Six foot is like max. Anything over that. The thing is, uh, me, most of my length comes from my legs. So I find it really difficult with that old steering wheel for my legs. Obviously, I think Sadiq's more 
in his body wise and he's got stubby legs you know what I'm saying so it's just bear that in mind if you're tall this uh, might not be for you another thing is which one do you buy the the four door sport back one or do you buy the three door one Sadiq which one would you buy four door four door you crazy there man. you crazy there okay so for the with the four door you get them lights that go across here like that yeah that's you can't get them lights on the three door another thing is if you're gonna make like a, a track build yeah if you're gonna make a track build the three door is lighter the four door has a longer chassis okay so the four door if i remember off the top of my head weighs 1495 kg and then the three door weighs 1455 kg if i remember that correctly so that's a 40 kg difference now that matters now obviously it wouldn't 40 kg i'm 12 stone and that's about 75 ish kg so it's like half of me all right that's the difference it's like a little child putting that them in the th car and be like yeah so there's not going to be a difference in like performance wise i think they'll both be like neck on neck but if you're going to buy this car for like say a track build then you're already saving 40 kg just by getting the three door there's no point in getting a four door and be like oh yeah let me cut the whole thing you fucking idiot you should just bought the three door you get 40 kg off for doing nothing know what i'm saying you think the seats on this what else should, he, should you buy it man this car is fucking moving bro now my car's running 318 braking it golf r mark 7 bro you get gapped yo race one the other day so he fucking left him bro he was dead bro he was gone know what i'm saying how do you do well what's this oh my bro i thought it was something special what else should, he, should you buy it you should buy it bro the car is fucking sick yo i think i'll do another video of what you should by look for when buying this car i think i'll make it in the same day but i'll release it another day you know what i'm saying what do you think sadiq is that good enough that they learn some information and then yeah see the thing is i like the three doors more than the four doors that is the difference but the thing is you might like three door but then as soon as you look at the lights you might not like these lights you might like the other lights you know what i mean so it's different in it bear that in mind 40 kg lighter this one smaller chassis and obviously all that weight comes from having more doors and then if you got the full extras you got the sunroof as well extra weight you know what i'm saying yeah bro car is fucking flying bro yeah the next video yeah is the one that you want to watch because then i'll explain everything that you need to look at when buying this car yes Sadiq.